Hey guys, so today I'm going to cover my process that I went through for returning my i7 13th gen CPU due to Intel's kind of screw up. I mean, this is kind of wild that they released a product that has major voltage issues and pretty much just burns out your CPU. The nice thing is, is they're just kind of following their basic warranty process of the default, I think, three year warranty. Um, they're not doing a recall, which is kind of wild, but I think this is their way of kind of still doing a recall without doing a full recall. But I'm going to dive into kind of the information you're going to need and what you may or may not have to do if you don't have certain pieces of information to get that information off your CPU and start that process, kind of where to go to start that process. Uh, there's not, I didn't find quick, easy information on where to contact Intel to start my return process. So I'm gonna just kind of point you in that direction, information you're going to need to do that if you have a 13th or 14th gen CPU and to get that process started. I would go ahead and recommend, even if you don't feel like you're seeing performance issues, go ahead and go through this process. It was kind of a crappy process for me. Uh, I think it's been different for a little bit for everyone. Some people have had some pretty good experiences with this return process. Some people even supposedly got upgraded CPUs from what they had. Uh, I did not, they just straight up replaced my CPU with the same one. And I was out of a work computer for a week and a half, when in reality I should have been out of a work computer for about a day. But let's dive into what you'll need and here we go. Okay, so if you're planning on returning your CPU, these are the steps you're gonna go through. Just head over to intel.com and then head over to their support page, contact support, then head over to products, processors, processors, and then you can either do a live chat or phone directory, then they're just gonna ask you about the issues you're having, and then they'll create a ticket for you. You should also receive an email, and that email will direct you to their Intel internal chat that they will request more information from you but let's get into what you're going to need off of your CPU. So they will give you this page once they pretty much approve that they think your CPU is worth returning. The first is if you've had your box, great. Or if you took a photo of it, even better that you can just copy off the serial number and the batch. So this little number here, zoom in a little bit for you. So you can cut that serial number and batch number those will give you what you need for them to continue processing your request. If you do not have your box or photo of it, this is the worst part of it. You're going to have to pull your CPU. So pull, once you pull it, you got an easy batch number right on the top of it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'll zoom in a little bit on this photo. You got your batch number and then you got your 2D matrix is which they're gonna need for their full serial number. They will not take the partial serial. You're gonna need an app to, to actually get this information. This information will not just use with the regular like internal QR scanner. As far as I'm aware, my phone, I have a, a Pixel 6a and it's QR code scanner didn't give me any information. It just acted like it, that was nothing but I would recommend taking a photo of it with your camera uh, and don't use the app that I'm about to show you. So to get this app, I would, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put all these links in the description for you to access. So to get this, both these apps don't work. As far as I could tell, I couldn't find them. And if I search for them, at least on the Apple might be different. I use Android, these didn't exist. I used Intel's internal uh, scanning system. So they point you to this and they also talk about uh, Intel's internal scanning system, but that's not here. You need to head over to this screen, which is how to scan on third and fourth gen Intel's and scannable processors. Uh, and this app is going to look like this when you when you uh, open it and pretty, pretty simple stuff overall, but you're going to need to just download it directly and then once you download it directly, just click on that downloadable application and then it'll go through the process of actually downloading the app. You'll get a notification saying, hey, do you trust this? Just so say yes. And you'll have the app. And then you can upload the image that you took a photo of with your better camera than trying to go through the app. And it will then kind of draw around the blocks of that uh, QR code 
and it will give you the serial number at that point and it'll be a referential serial number so you'll always just have it in the app but that that's the process of getting both the batch and serial number if you don't have your box and overall this process they'll give you two options option one is a process in which you're going to send your cpu out to them and once they receive it verify it they'll send it back option two is a little more risky so to speak but what happens is you get to keep your CPU till they ship you a new one, replace it, send your old one back. They are going to charge you the full price of an Intel CPU till you ship yours back. And if you don't within 30 days, they're just going to charge you the 500 or 600, $700 or whatever it is Intel CPU you have. So that's going to be the process. Those are your two options that they're going to request. Option two technically should be the quickest. Option two for me was a headache and I was not a fan of that process. It took way longer and I was out of my machine for a week and a half waiting for them to contact me. It was a pain. I I will say this, if they tell you to wait one or two business days and you don't get a call, call, their, uh, call them directly at that point and say, hey, I've been waiting and you guys have yet to contact me. Once you once you kind of peep your head up, they'll get they'll get in contact with you if they don't already. So that that's my one, you know, little tidbit of advice give them a call if they're not calling you. So overall, that was that's the process. Uh, hopefully it's simple. If you have any questions, uh, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, sorry if you're an Apple user, I think you might be kind of SOL on it, unless maybe Apple's internal QR code scanner works better. But you know, let me down, let me know down in the comments. I've not tried with an Apple phone, but you know, thank you guys for watching and you guys have a good one.